Hi guys, very good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. My name is Sai Kiran. So today we are going to discuss about VPC flow logs guys. So I'll tell you a scenario what was exactly this flow log. So before going to the flow logs and the practical things, I'll tell you a small scenario. Okay. Imagine there is a gated community here. Okay. And there are two blocks of buildings and here some XYZ people were living and here also some XYZ people were living for time being imagine okay and here there is a main gate where a security guy will be there so what was the job of the security guy he will make sure that uh, uh, the people who are dedicated to this apartments or people who are owning the places here he will make sure that he's checking properly and then he is allowing them and people who wanted to go out and uh, buy something or bring something so what they will do they will go out from the main gate and then they will bring whatever they want okay till here it's good so imagine there is a play area here and there is some power circuit area is here okay and then some issue occurred in play area and also this power circuit area so now is it possible for the security guard to come back and check how it is happened and uh, is it possible for this guy to check how this has been happened and passing the information to his uh, management it is tough right because he is busy with his work and he is allowing the people whomsoever uh, do have the access itself only imagine if there are cc cameras here here also there is a cc cam and here also there is a cc cam then what we can do is uh, uh, during the time of analysis how it is happened and all we can watch this uh, uh, watch the entire issue from the cc cam and we will come to a conclusion that okay uh, this has been happened so from next time we'll take the precautions to avoid such kind of issues okay now on a high level imagine this is your vpc okay cider block lane is somewhere around 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 16 okay here you have your some web server or something and it is running on 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 16 so you do have an internet gateway security groups whatever is there everything is there and the traffic is going on here and then uh, if you want to access anything from the public and then it is giving you the output everything is going fine then who will capture all these logs we need some logs right you have configured each and everything but what about the logs so there comes into the picture called flow logs So what exactly this flow logs will be doing is I'll show you the documentation now. I'll just open. So see here guys, VPC flow log is a feature that enables you to capture information about the IP traffic going to and from network interfaces in your VPC got it so is it really required for uh, flow logs in your environment of course yes guys because tomorrow if any issue occurs or if any security issue occurs then what will happen is audit team or quality team might gonna come back and they are gonna ask us the uh, VPC logs then flow logs will help us a lot or if you wanted to start any e-commerce application so for you it is not possible to collect the customer data like however you want it is really not possible because there will be something called management and governance what will happen is uh, imagine if there is any transaction happen between you and the organization or between you and the company or someone so all this transaction needs to be saved under an archival data okay for example, I'll show you one more thing here now. If you go to see, if you scroll down, you can see any payment application or e commerce application. See, if you see here, 
there is something called PCI DSS certified. So what this PCI PCI is again nothing but payment card industry data security standards. So these are responsible for audit logs and also in such cases we definitely require uh, the logs. Okay. Again here the logs were divided into three types. One is uh, um, one is VPC level logs, I mean VPC flow logs and the second one is subnet level and the third one is instance level. So how it know that uh, how, how it will capture that uh, we are requesting it from VPC or subnet or instance. So whenever you are creating an EC2 instance, right? So there is something called in the back end whom interacts with the public which is network interface i'll also show you that uh, we'll uh, do the practical we'll quickly jump onto the practicals and we'll see each and everything see guys this is my machine if i click on it uh where is network in yeah here it is see this is the network interface this network interface is attached to the subnet and the subnet is attached to the VPC. So now what practical we're gonna do is, we're gonna, um, I'll keep it on paint. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna create one EC2 instance first. First EC2 instance we're gonna create. And then we'll log in, log in to the EC2 instance and install Nginx. Third, what we'll do is we'll create a, see for logs, we'll be end of the day, we'll be getting the logs, right? So where you will save the logs, there will be some remote location to save the logs. You cannot keep these logs in a local machine. So for that, we need to create a S3 bucket in order to save the logs. And then at last, we will create VPC flow logs, AWS console, and then go to instances i'll create one instance so this is for flow logs ubuntu 20.0 t2 micro is enough for me and then latest spam and then when it comes to the networking, I'll select my KTS cluster. I'll select my public subnet. I'll, set, I'll auto assign IP, enable, select security groups. My security group is there. 8GB is enough and then launch instance. Our instance is up guys. Click on the instance, copy the IP address, open party session, Ubuntu at the rate, SSH, authentication, browse, and select your PEM file and then open. Accept. I'll increase the font size to 13 and then I'll keep it in bold. Now what I'll do is I'll write some small shell script to install the Nginx. Okay. Nano. Nano is an editor. Um, nginx dot sh shebang sorry slash bin slash bash sudo apt update sudo apt install nginx hyphen y sudo system ctl restart nginx sudo system ctl status nginx okay control x click on y and then enter chmod triple seven nginx dot slash nginx awesome our server is running uh, let's leave it like this for now
we'll see whether if it is working really or not nice it's working so what we did uh, we have created an instance and then we have installed an nginx now we have to create a s3 bucket make sure you are giving the s3 bucket name unique the reason why we are creating the s3 bucket is just to save the vpc flow logs here um flow logs k8 okay we can leave everything as it is and then create bucket now go back to vpc make sure you are creating it on a proper vpc okay this vpc is connected with our flow log instance so i am using this vpc if you select vpc in the bottom you will be seeing flow log tab click on create flow log give the name my flk8 and then here you can keep it as all so it will capture all traffic for every 1 minute not for 10 minutes send to an amazon s3 bucket it is asking destination which means where do you want to save your data go to s3 bucket again click on your bucket if you click on properties you will be seeing one arm uh, which is azure resource man i mean sorry amazon resource name copy it and then paste it log record able is default format format only aws default format it's okay text file and then all good and then create flow log done flow log has also been created what is next okay now go to your s3 and check whether this is not selecting i ah, selected now go to s3 you are in s3 already click on your flow logs now there will be no logs it has been created but there will be no logs correct so what we have to do now is we need to send some traffic to our server our ec2 instance is there right we need to send some traffic to it else how how it will uh, capture the logs there should be some traffic on it right so what we shall do is we'll write a small script to uh, send the traffic come back here come back to your putty machine control c control l for new machine new screen copy this dns name guys it's important and check here if it is working or not check url no sorry curl it is curl and then this yeah it's good now what you have to do is uh, you have to write some small script while true while true do and then curl the webs hint dns name and then pipeline and then uh, grep hyphen i uh, what was this uh, nginx and then sleep for one second uh, sleep one second and then done so guys do not worry about the script it what it exactly does is see we have created a flow logs we need to check whether the logs were exactly saving in a s3 bucket or not so in order to check what we have to do we need to send some traffic to our server this is our server right we need to send some traffic to it so for that i cannot go uh, here and always uh, like you know open it right it will take some time so what i am doing is i'm just uh, automating it for uh, continuously sending the packets to this browser once done click enter see it is sending the packets now go back to s3 and check really it is sending the logs or not before let it send some logs and after that we will open it before going on to the s3 again let me show you something see if i clear this Here is your server. Okay. 
if here is your hacker what he will do is uh, he will send continuous packets to like he will make sure that this server load is up up to uh, like or more than 80 percent and above so for that they will not be sending any uh, like you know nuclear bombs or something what they will do is they will make sure continuously they are hitting our server with continuous packets so how this flow logs will help at that time is vpc flow logs so i'll show you now i'll open the logs and i'll show you we'll be having some ip addresses okay if that ip addresses is continuously repeating like 100 times 400 times 500 times what they will do is they will simply block it the security team okay so this is how it works maybe they are doing it in a many other ways but still i am telling you we can overcome such instances in kubernetes because we do have uh, something called horizontal pod auto scaling okay which always keeps our instances high if anything happens to an instance or load is high on a particular time in aws also we can do something called auto scaling so we will discuss this later for now you understand how vpc flow logs works and what is the purpose of vpc flow logs is it really required in your environment uh, with the flow logs or not so just understand this gist of the story rest of the things we can discuss later okay this has been sent many packets to our browser i mean our server let's go back to s3 bucket and see if it sends any logs to um, aws logs like id pc flow logs yeah see us east one and then 2024 date and then month which is fourth month seventh today's date see we got the logs click on it download it mm, i'll keep it in downloads go there and compress it extract all extract if i open this i'll open with the uh, notepad plus plus see guys see the ip here here it is 160.216.10.42 and it is accepted it's okay 10.42 162.152 accepted okay i said right if see it is if this hacker is continuously sending an uh, uh, like you know uh, requests or continuously sending a package to this server uh, just to increase its load or uh, at, at the at some point of time the server gets down so the, what uh, security team or what other teams will do is they will analyze such kind of flow logs and they will take the actions accordingly and also these logs can be pasted on excel sheet uh, or also these logs can be uh, like you know uh, put it on uh, power bi tool like that for a graphical uh, rep representation so that's all for today guys uh, this is what i wanted to explain um, if you have any doubts please please put it in the comment section please do like my video and subscribe to my channel um, you can also connect with me on linkedin uh, you can also ping me on linkedin i'll definitely reply back once i'm free um, we'll see you tomorrow thank you so much guys have a nice day everyone bye bye